East Coast Trains is one of Britain's largest transport companies, speeding thousands of passengers every day between London, the East Midlands, the north of England and Scotland. Oh, the bacon! Despite employing close to 3,000 people, its workforce often resembles a huge extended family. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh. They teach each other. It's in Liam's hands now. The train's only 90 seconds away. They test each other. Someone comes to you and says, there's someone banging on that toilet door. They're locked in, they can't get out. How are you going to get them out? Occasionally, they quarrel. Staff messed up the fish cakes. The staff didn't mess up the chef. So, the wrong orders. Hi, Cheryl. But they're always there for each other. Three years ago, I was a cancer patient. All I could think of when I was going through it was, I just want to get back to work. I just want to get back in my uniform. A job on the railway can be a job for life. Good news. <laughs> As part of a family that really looks after its own. Oh, sorry. Nah. Yes. <laughs> good work. Really good work. It's the crack of dawn in Newcastle, and catering for the first-class passengers on board the early morning 4.45 to London are Chef Mark and crew leader Nigel. We should be like a couple. This dynamic duo are as close as any married couple. Got a flying bit of toast there, was it? So it popped out the toaster. Oh, popped the toaster up there. Now. High velocity. The toaster's up there nowadays, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I do enjoy working with Mark, yeah. He's a, he's a good laugh. Uh, the work gets done. Go Nigel and Mark are so close that they occasionally oh, yeah. even swap roles, though not without the odd inevitable disagreement. You like tomato, I like Mark tomato. likes to help out by taking the orders, which is a great help a lot of the time. However, we work to different codes to Mark does. When I help taking the orders for Nigel and other crews, I always get it right. Where I would put F for fish, he puts S for salmon, which S for salmon looks very similar to G for grill. So somebody's ordered a breakfast but have moved and nobody's claiming it, so I'll just wander about and sort of shout, grill. <laughs> and they'll always go, oh, Mark, we don't need this breakfast, so I'll put it on the bench and then I'll come back in 20 minutes and say, oh, we found him. You found him, where was he? They kind of gone anyway. You know, they kind of get off the train, we're doing 125 miles an hour. You know, they didn't pop upstairs. Anyone ordered the grill? Yeah. 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 Yeah.